Welcome back, Capricorns. Blessings, blessings. Continue gratitude for your or gratitudes for your continued support. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. I am Nayla Latrice. And if you are interested in a personal read or coaching or joining my Patreon or any of my other services, you can click the link down below. Capricorn, let's see what the messages are um, here for you, okay? These messages are for whoever finds it, whoever it resonates with. Oh, I see you coming out on your own recap. Let's get one more. All right. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? What messages do you have for Capricorn? Okay. Oh, Capricorn, you see this? The Empress. Let's get one more. I have a few things, but let's just get one more. I'm going to pull eight cards total. Whoa. Spirit says take it. So, wow. <laughs> Cap, I see exactly what's happening. Cap, you're the Empress here. Or Emperor, take it how it, how it resonates with you. But you are the Empress. You're very abundant. You're very fortunate at this time. You're very knowledgeable, very w wise, a lot of wisdom. Many of you guys are parents, single mothers possibly, or single parents. I feel like, Cap, you're sitting on your throne. You're walking into your power. Mm -hmm. You're starting to see things. You're starting to see the light or you're starting to see things for what they truly are or for what they really are. People around you, situations around you, whatever um, situation that you are dealing with, you're seeing the truth and the light of it. You're focused on getting your abundance at this time as well. You're focused on growth. You have communication coming in very quickly. This could be via text, mail, whatever. Um, not really male, but you know, depending on what type of communication you're waiting on, but I feel like this is something over like electronically, somebody wants to send you a message and tell you that they know, I feel this is in regards to the light that you are seeing. Maybe you've expressed yourself to somebody about what you have now come to see, or you now realize the wisdom that you now have on the situation, maybe you've been enlightened and maybe you've shared something with somebody and maybe they're going to be responding to you. Or um, also maybe uh, even if you haven't said anything, people recognize that you overstand energetically. So you don't even have to say anything because people, un people overstand that you overstand. And it's clear. So therefore, they're going they want to say something to you. But Cap, I feel like you're not taking any BS. You're moving forward from whatever this is. Ooh. Mm hmm. You're deciding to move forward. You're making logical decisions. OK. You're saying if it's not serving me, I don't want it because I am the empress or emperor. And so if you come to me, you have to be correct. Therefore, you have this queen of swords energy that you are in. Mm -hmm. You're putting a stop to all the BS, to all the nonsense that people try to come your way. And I feel like you are beginning to trust yourself and your own knowledge as well, which is helping you to maintain your strength and keeping your sword up. Your sword is able to come down for those who, um, who can come at you correctly. I feel like you're higher up in the clouds. You see how this throne is like she's in the clouds. It's like you're in the clouds and people are trying to get up towards you. And even if they make it up to the clouds towards you, they still have to have the secret passcode. They still have to um, come correct. Just because they made it into the clouds where you are, it still does not mean that they are a fit for you. They have to show and prove whatever this is, whether this is a job, love, it doesn't matter. And until that happens, you're moving forward. You're sending them back along their way. It's like you're like, get back in your boat and, and leave. You're, you're not, you, you, this isn't um, logical. This is both you and them. This is you sending them off on their way. And this is you moving forward as well. Because this is the six of swords. You're, you're in your head. You're thinking. It's like, ah, this doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see what we have here. Woo! What did I just say? And look, this was at the bottom of the deck before. There's a lot. You could. There's a lot of swords. Could be dealing with an air sign, although I don't care to mention the, the signs like that. But somebody has something that they want to offer you, Virgo. Oh, why did I say Virgo? Could be dealing with the Virgo. Could be dealing with the Virgo. But Cap, somebody has something that they want to offer you. Mm-hmm. Somebody is afraid of rejection. That's what this um, communication that's coming in here is. Somebody is uh, really in their head about the situation with you. This could also be you in your head about the situation with them. But I believe this is more of them, uh, this person and this energy because you know you're the empress. It doesn't mean that you can't be in your head either, but you're more in this queen of swords and empress energy like, uh-uh. I'm not, I'm not taking this, which is confusing this person. So therefore, they're trying to decide how to come at you with this offer that they want to give to you. Look at this. They've had clarity. You've had clarity. Like I said, you've had a lot of clarity, a lot of enlightenment. You're having an ace of swords moment. And you're realizing eh, what is good for you and what is not good for you. And if it's not good for you, you're sending it along its way. Mm hmm. This communication coming in, you may not expect it to come in. Somebody may still offer you something, even though your sword is up, they're still going to come and offer this to you, possibly. Mm hmm. And this it may throw you off guard like, oh, you are bold enough to actually offer this. You're going to have but this person doesn't want to be rejected and you're going to have to decide if you're going to reject them. Mm hmm. Let me get this cap real quick. Where did it go? Really? You know when cards ricochet. Wow, look at this. Look at this. I'm not able to find the card that just fell up. Oh my gosh. I wish I could. Okay, I'm going to pick this up and show you. So this is for here. And the card that fell is for here. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's the energy that is here. This is what flips out. This person is in love with you. This is a, a love situation and they are in love with you. Mm -hmm. This is why they're being bold enough to approach you. They want to move forward with you. They're not, ooh, this person is not going to stop trying. You can keep trying to cut them off. You keep trying to cut somebody off. You can try to cut them off. They're not going to accept. No, they want you. They want you. They know that you are for them. They know this without a doubt. We have the two of cups and the ten of pentacles here. This person knows undoubtedly that you are for them and they cannot allow you to walk out of their life. So this is why they're elevating to where you are, sword up or not, sword up or not, they're coming towards you. They want to come towards you and they're going to keep trying until you put your sword down. So you're going to have to decide what it is you want to do because they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop cap. Okay. Look at this. They see you as the queen of pentacles. They see you as very abundant, which we have already established. You are very abundant at this time. I really feel that, and, and I don't like saying um, signs, but uh, Virgo keeps wanting to come out. And this being the queen of pentacles here, I'm just getting heavy Virgo vibes in your read. I really am. So some of you guys for sure um, could be dealing with the Virgo. And I'm only saying this to help it resonate with somebody or somebody's even more because that is the energy that I'm feeling. Let's see. Spirit with messages. Ooh. The innocence of a child. Number 25. I feel spirit is telling you to be playful. Be lighthearted. Be playful. Act, act like a go back to to uh, how you would want to be if you were a child or if you had great childhood memories, go back to how that felt and kind of play in that, you know, stay in that, um, in that energy because that is what is going to allow you to make the necessary decisions that you need to make. 
There's nothing but love here. The innocence of a child. Be innocent. Just be playful. Let your guard down, Cap. It's okay. Let your guard down. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cap? What messages do you have for Capricorn? Woo! Okay, there goes two. At the bottom of the deck, we have fullness. Either way, you're full, Cap. You're full with or without people. However, Spirit is advising you it's great to have good people around you that um, can be around you, that is worthy of being around you. And when you have people that are worthy to, to that are worthy of being around, keep those people around. For those people that truly don't want to give up being around you, Maybe you should reevaluate to see what if there's something in them that you are missing and maybe you are going to realize you need to put your sword down. Because if someone is not giving up, that means they they want to fight for you. They they don't want to let you go. And if they're not toxic, which I don't see any toxicity here at all. There this is beautiful in my opinion, but for whatever reason cap, you have your you have your 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 guard up. And spirit is saying you ha you're going to have to reevaluate to decide what you want to do. And being playful is what's going to help you do this. Number 23, the wear and tear of time. Yeah, you could be waiting a long time uh, for for things to turn out in your favor. Um, I feel like you could be you could be being very, very patient and you're tired of being patient. You want what you want and it's wearing on you. The patience is wearing on you having to wait, 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 wait. Who wants to wait? No one wants to wait. We want what we want and we want it now. We want what we want and we want it now. And spirit is saying it doesn't work like that. So that's weighing on you. And that's why spirit is telling you to just be in this playful energy and just allow time to do what it does. Time is an illusion, harmony, love, and peace. You're getting balance in your life right now. Um, things are balancing out for you when it comes to love and peace. And that is why Spirit is giving you these messages because you have work on your part to do, being in, being playful and reevaluating this person or this situation to decide if it really is actually love and peace. Maybe this situation, this com this communication coming in isn't as bad as you really think it is. But again, I'm not sure exactly may what has happened or um, what you may have been enlightened on. But you're blocking people off. You're the empress, so you're just you're blocking people off. You're like, mm -mm, you got to come at me correct. And if you don't come at me correct, mm -mm, I'm sending you on your way. But I feel like there's something communication that's coming in towards you and spirit is saying, hey, you're really going to have to take a look at what's coming towards you. Take a look at this offer that's here. Take a look at it. Reevaluate it. Don't uh, cap. Don't you miss this opportunity? No, this person doesn't want to be rejected, but make sure you don't miss a great opportunity that's here because you're uh, you're afraid or you're fearful of something. Don't allow fear to stop you. OK. Because there is love here. There's love, there's peace, there's joy, there's harmony. Mm-hmm. Your money is looking decent. It, your cap, so of course your money is going to be looking decent. <laughs> All right, let's see what messages. What messages do you have for cap, spirit? What messages do you have for cap? Okay, I'm going to take this top one. <gasps> Look at this, twin flames. Your passion ignites. This is a twin flame situation. Twin flames has been coming out a lot. Only time will tell. What did I just say? The wear and tear of time. And it's funny that this is the second one for it. This is the second one. And this is the second one. Only time will tell. Give it time. This is sticking out to me right here. I'm just going to energetically take this. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Energetically, I felt that. What did I say? Spirit is in the building. Didn't I say that there's nothing but love and peace and harmony here and things are balancing out? And Spirit is telling you to be more thankful and grateful versus fear. Don't have fear. Love is not fear-based. Love drives out all fear, okay? 
So Cap, I am going to leave your read here. Comment below and uh, let me know how it resonates with you. Again, if you're interested in joining my Patreon, we do some really cool things over there. I'm going to start posting over there very, very soon. Um, then you can definitely click the link below. Also, that same link will get you to book a reading, Reiki services, coaching services, and to just find out more about me. Um, please like this video and subscribe. Until next time, bye Cap.